Now moving ahead, again in this question we are required to calculate the amount to be shown in income and expenditure account for the year. Remember the payment made during the year 2005-06 is 17,000 and the stock of sports material, creditors for sports material and advance paid for sports material is given to you. On adjusting these figures, you are required to calculate the amount that should be taken as an expense for this year. So now students, the base figure would be the payment made for sports material during the year. That is payment made during the year. which is 17,000 then students we have stock of sports material in the beginning of the year which is 7,000 so add and less stock of sports material in the beginning again by matching principle since this amount was leftover amount of the previous year so obviously it would be used during current year since it is used during the current year, it should be taken as the expense of current year only. So, stock or I should write it as opening stock of sports material which is 7000. Vice versa for closing stock. Closing stock is given to be 6000. Now this amount would not be used during the current year. Hence should be taken as deduction. Closing stock of sports material that is 6000. Then we have creditors for sports material that is creditors in the beginning of the year. Again creditors in the beginning of the period means they belong to previous year. The amount was due for previous year. Hence should not be taken as an expense of this year. So we would show it as deduction that is opening creditors. Opening creditors 2000 then students creditors at the end of this year that is closing which is given to be 1000 here these creditors or this amount actually pertains to current year only right since this is standing at the end of this year so by matching principle we can say that the expense was incurred during this year but the payment has not yet been made so add closing creditors which are rupees 1000 now students advance paid at the beginning that means in previous year you had paid an advance of 1000 rupees. Obviously that amount would be utilized in this year. So it belongs to this year. So add opening advance payment which is 1000 again. In this case there is no closing advance payment. Had it been there so using the vice versa effect we can say that it should be taken as a deduction. So now let us add it and find the balance that should appear in income and expenditure account. And we can see by totaling it comes to 26,000 minus 8,000 that the amount should be 18,000 to be debited to income and expenditure account. 